has joins, the first choice of join will be join A. Because anytime you pick a join, you want to pick a join with maximum of two unknowns. So at joint A, you have a reaction Ay that's two fifty pounds. Then you have a member. We're going to take that in tension, and we're going to take the force here as Fad and Fad. Then you have a member Ae. So we're going to take the force here as Fae and Fae. And that's also in tension. So there is a force going that direction, there is a force going in that direction with the angle being 45. So, <coughs> again we go through summing force at A in the X, it gives you F A E cosine 45 plus F A D goes to 0. We sum the force in the Y direction at the same joint, you get F A E sine 45 plus 250 that goes to 0. So from the second equation you're going to get FAE as see it's going to go negative 250 and then it's going to multiply get square root 2. That's in pounds and tension. So <coughs> the actual force in that member is going to be 250 square root 2 pounds and compression. Then you come here, you made substitution, which means you go negative 250 square root 2. Then you have cosine 45 plus F AD, and that goes to 0. So <coughs> from here, you're going to get F AD as this, this will get, get cancelled. You're going to have 250 pounds, and that will be in tension. So that's two forces. Then you have a choice. You could pick join E or you could pick join D. So <coughs> the next thing we pick will be let's say join D. So join D, you have <coughs> force going down, that's 500 pounds. Then this member is taken in tension, so you have forces going like this. And <coughs> the force, the one I chose was FAD. So there is a force here. F A D. There is a force here, which is F. So this is F. Uh, <coughs> F D E. This one was F A D, and there is a force F D C. This one we just found. That's two fifty pounds. So if you sum your force in X at D, that should be 0. This will give you FDC as 250 pounds and tension. Then you sum your force in Y at the same joint. That gives you FDE as 500 pounds and that remains in tension. So <coughs> That's what you get at joint D. Then the next choice will be joint C. See, anytime when you want to make a choice, you pick a joint where you have a maximum of two unknowns. So since we know DC, so if I pick C, at C, there is a force going down that's 1,000 pounds. Then